Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully created a method for deleting the product. So fine. So for deleting a product, it's working fine. Now we need to do another thing that is nothing but so when we delete the product here. So for example, let's say that when we have delete, when we click on this delete, this product will be deleted. Fine, that's fine. But what happens if this product is already added in the cart? So we need to delete that product also in the cart also. Why? Because when the product itself is not there in the cart also, we need to delete that product. So that means what we need to do here when we are trying to delete the product. So when the user wants to delete the product from the admin, we also have to check that we also have to delete that product from the cart also. So let's try to do this one. So here what I will try to do is here. So when we are trying to delete here, I will delete here, delete product from cart. So I am deleting the product from cart also. And here I will be sending the product ID. That's it. Now let's create this method in our cart.js. So here in our cart.js, here I will be writing exports delete product from cart. Let's copy this one. Yeah. So we will get the product ID. And this one is a method. So here we need to delete the product from the cart ID. So in order to delete the, ex the product which is deleted by the user from the cart also means what we need to do. First we need to get all the cart details. In that cart details we need to search that whether a product whether the product is existing in the cart or not. If the product is existing means then we need to delete exactly that product only. First we need to get all the products from the cart. So how can we get here fs.read read file. So here we can get all the cart content. So let's try to split this uh, code. So previously how we can do so here I can write constant get cart details from file. So this is a method and this method so we'll have like this and here you will be having a callback let's say uh, we'll be having a callback first copy this cart path. So I am copying this cart path and I will take this fs.read file. So let's take this fs.read file. And here this will be something like like this one yeah so now in this fs.read file so i need to copy this one all i think we can delete this product price also why because this product price is not necessary total price is not necessary for example let's say that when the user wants to update the product in the update the product in the admin so he update if he updates the price we also has to update the price in the cart also so instead of the instead of having this price we'll delete this price so there is no need for us to have the price i am thinking so if we want means we'll add it afterwards now if if any uh, not error is present means we are using this json card content and here i will be returning return callback so we need to call back and we need to return this cut cut that's it so now here instead of using this one fs.read file i can read i can get cart details from file so here we will get the cart and this one is a callback function and from here to here I can copy the entire code and I can paste it inside this card details that's it so I can remove this all fs.read file so that's it right so now we are getting uh, now we are getting the card details from the file after getting the card so I am searching the card from this one and I am doing all those uh, necessary things and all those things we can remove this total price also why because we are not maintaining this total price I think this is the thing. So now here also in the delete product also I can use the same thing here something like yeah something like get cart from file get cart details from file. So we will get the cart details and now we got the cart details in that cart details how the pro how the format will be. So in this one we are having an object of products. So let's try to take that one. So let cart products products is equal to you can take something like cart dot products okay so i am taking it like this so here i want to find whether the product id is available in this cart dot products or not so here let updated cart products i am taking another variable so here i will be taking cart products dot filter so i am doing the filter of so I will be getting each product ID 
and here I need to return product dot id dot to string is equal to is equal to product id dot to string. So I am for safety purpose I am converting it to string. So if you are confirm that it is coming as an integer or a string means so you, there is no need for us to convert. So now here I got the updated details. So which is not equal to sorry which is not equal to. So which product id is not equal to means so, so the product id which is same it will not go into the updated card details. Now what I can do here, so let's try to copy this card path. So we need to update the file details. So here I can update, I can paste it, and here I can copy this one fs dot write file, and here I can paste it. But this time I need to write updated card products. That's it. So we have written updated card products. Now delete product from card. So we are calling it from here. Delete product from card. So let's try to import this one. That's it. Now we are having the products.json. Let's remove this card.json. I am trying to it. Why? Because we have changed the structure of that one. So I am entirely deleting this, this one. Let's go on to the project and here we will try to see it. So when we try to refresh, so this time we are having only one product. Let's try to add another product also. Something like some, some random data I am adding. So in order to check. So here we are having ADA and JH, JHK, this like this. So I clicked on the add to cart. So it is successfully added and I clicked on this one also it is successfully added. If you try to see cart.json is created and this time so there is no <coughs> total price we are having only the product with an id and a quantity. Let's try to make it as a simple. So here I am clicking add to cart again and if you try to see here so this one is updated with the quantity of 2. Fine. So everything is working fine. Now what I want to do is now when I delete this product automatically the the product which is the product id which is present here in the cart also should be deleted so if i go into this one i am trying to delete from the admin i am deleting this cart this product if i delete this product what will happen let's see so i have deleted this product successfully it has been created so sorry it has been deleted and now if you see here the product cart also got updated that product has been deleted from the cart also so now we are able to when the product was deleted we are able to successfully delete from the product file and also if the product if the if the deleted product is already added in the cart means we are also checking that cart whether the product is present or not and if it is present we are deleting in the cart also so this gives us a correct meaning that whenever the user wants to delete a product we are also making sure that the product is if it is added in the cart means so we are successfully deleting that one by using a method which was in the cart.js so just we are getting the product ID which is that product was deleted and I am doing all the details. So I am checking this updated card products and doing the necessary action for that one. So this is how the delete product actually works deleting both the product in the product details and also in the card details. Hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.